This is an historic visit of a regional leader that will advance the regional architecture we have been building this past year in the Middle East. This is the visit of a strategic partner that will strengthen economic and security ties between our countries. And this is a visit and a close and dear friend with whom I can talk about everything. And my friend, we will indeed discuss everything during your visit here. Landing last week ahead of the second anniversary of the signing of the Abraham Accords, the United Arab Emirates Foreign Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nayyan and his entourage meeting with Prime Minister Yair Lapid, President Herzog, former Prime Minister Netanyahu, and a number of other leaders. Additionally, Sheikh Al Nayyan making his first ever visit to Jerusalem's Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial, where he followed tradition for world leaders in laying a wreath at the Hall of Remembrance. Now, the visit and celebration of the immense progress made in the last two years since normalizing ties, as well as for discussing regional developments in the economy and in security vis-a-vis -vis Iran. Lapid saying, together, Israel and the Emirates are changing the face of the Middle East. My friend, together, we are changing the face of the Middle East. We are changing it from war to peace, from terrorism and econ to economic cooperation, from a discourse of violence and extremism to a dialogue of tolerance and cultural curiosity. Economically, things have never been better, with bilateral trade estimated to reach over $2.5 billion by the year's end. And in security, Lapid and Al Nayan reaffirming commitment to one another's defense, particularly in light of the Iran JCPOA nuclear deal. Last January, I was appalled as was every Israeli and every civilized person by the criminal drone attack on your beautiful country. Israel stands shoulder to shoulder with you in the face of any terrorist attack. Regrettably, we have experience in this area. We know how it feels and we know with which country is behind this. And we know what needs to be done in response and we know the right way to do it. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.